Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see how to add circles to our leaflet map. Here we have mapped few of the cities of the United States. The circles are representative of the populations in those cities. The bigger the circle, the more population and the smaller the circle, lesser the population. I'm in my working directory and let me show you the contents of the working directory. Got two files. One is the R script, which we are going to see in just a couple of minutes. And the second is the data set, the CSV file, which we are going to use to map the data. So let's start with loading the leaflet package. If you don't have the leaflet package already, uh, please install it. We'll read the CSV file. Make sure that uh, you have your working directory set already. Uh, Read.csv, pop.csv, and we'll store the content to cities object. So this, this cities object is going to have our data. Let's view the content. So I say view cities. And here we can see the first column cities. The second column is latitude, longitude and the population. So it's just um, the uh, sample data. We don't have all the cities of the United States, but good enough to demonstrate how to add the circles. Let's go back. Now what we will do is we'll the first step would be to create the leaflet uh, map object and we'll pass on the data as cities. We'll add the tiles. So the base map tile will be added. So let me run these two things. So if I run this, we'll see the map here. Now to add the circle, we use the add circles function and pass on the longitude and latitude. I will comment all these arguments so that I can show you later on how to use each of them. Let's just begin with the longitude and latitude. So we say longitude is equals to till they assign longitude means go to that column which has the longitude. Same same case for latitude. And let's run the code. So as you can see, we have got the circles, um, you know, but very tiny circles. We, we can use the argument called radius and we say radius is square root of population. Population is this column we had and multiplied by 30. So nothing but we are kind of scaling, giving it a formula and remember that the radius in when it comes to circles add circles is in meters so it's not pixel based it's meter so we, the the radius of the circle will be uh, according to this formula and let's run the code once again what we are expecting is we are expecting different size of circles here now you can see that um, this one having a, a, a bigger radius shows that this has got uh, more population as compared to this radius, this circle, which is having a smaller radius and lesser population. We can also play around with um, colors. So if I, I, I want the color, the, the, 
inside of the circle to be filled with a different color not what it comes with default I can use the fill color argument I say fill color equals red so what I am expecting is the inside of this circle should become red let's run the code and as you can see the inside of the circle is now red we can also play around with the thickness of the circumference right so if we want it to be thicker let me put it as 10 so it is significant enough to notice the change and let me rerun the code and now you can see that it is thicker around the circumference now there are other options let me show you fill color equals transparent so if I don't want any color to be there I can just say fill color equals transparent and let me rerun this code and now there is no color another argument called highlight options this is to be used in cases when we need the circle to highlight when the mouse is hovered on the circle say I want to change I want to highlight the circle as well as change the color of the circle when I do mouse over so what we need to do is we use this argument called highlight option let me uncomment these lines we say highlight options equals highlight options I want the weight to be 10 remains the same color to be brown so the circumference the um, outer the the circumference of the circle to be brown and fill the color with green so inside of the color when I mouse over it should change to green let me rerun this code to see the effect and so you can see if I mouse over you can see that the circumference of the circle or the stroke color changed also the inside of the color is now green okay now what we can also do is we can add labels or pop-ups say for example if I click on the circle I want to show the city name what I can do is use the argument pop-up I say pop-up equals and the value of the pop-up or the data it needs to display should come from the city column the first column so I say pop-up equals till the sign city let me rerun the code so now if I click on this it says New York City I click on this it says Hartford and so on what if I want the label I will use the argument label label equals till they sign city so I, I need not to wait for the click if I just mouse over it should show the label let me rerun the code and you can see now just with the mouse over it shows the name of the city.